we're going to solve a set of linear equations with Python. And we have two equations as an example problem here. You could be able to rearrange these, for example, and say x equals negative 2y, plug that in right here, and then solve for y, and then solve back again for x. So that'd be one way, but for simple systems, this is effective, but for not for very large scale systems, this is not going to be very effective uh, to seek a solution by hand. So we want to use numerical tools to, to do this. And this is going to be problem number two in our tutorials for Gecko. We're going to do from uh, Gecko uh, import Gecko and then M equals Gecko to create a new Gecko model. Okay, and then next we want to set up a couple of variables. X equals M dot VAR for a new variable and Y equals M dot variable for the other variable as well. And then we can set up our equations. We can either do it one at a time. Okay, plus two times Y. Don't forget the double equal sign. And then we have another equation as well. Okay, and then we can solve this. And I'll do display equals false just so we don't see the solver output. And then we can print x value and y value. And if we run that, we get the solution. The other way to do this is with a package such as uh, NumPy. I'll go through another way. Uh, this requires getting it into matrix form. So for example, here's our linear set of equations. I'm just going to put this into matrix form with x times y equals 1, 0. And so if we put this into matrix form with the linalg package, we'll do import numpy as np and then create our new arrays. And so we have 3, 2, and 1, 2. There's our first one. And I'll call this right-hand side, I'll call that B. And so we have 1, 0. So this is A times, I'll say Z, equals B. And then we can solve this with Z equals A inverse times B. Or we can use the NumPy, okay, we can use a NumPy package, the NP linalg, and do A comma B. And then we'll print our Z value. And if we run this one, I get an error. Okay, let's see. The module is not callable. Oh, yes. Okay, so linalg dot solve. And there I get um, there I get my solution that I had before from Gecko. Okay, I can also uh, you know do take other approaches as well. There's many other approaches in Python, but these are just two simple approaches using Gecko and the Linalg solve. If I wanted to interpret this graphically, I would have something like um, you know this linear set of equations. If I want to just plot it graphically, it's where these two lines intersect. So if I just said uh, on this first one, you know, x equals 0, y is going to be equal to 1 half. And then if I say y equals 0, then I could solve for x, and x equals 1 third. And then I would have for this one, x equals 0, y equals 0. And then I'd need to put another uh, point in here, such as x equals 1, and then y equals uh, negative 1 half. Okay, so I can plot those points and see where these lines intersect. So this one okay, is 1 half, there's 1 third. This is not going to be very precise here. Okay, there's one line, that's the first equation. And then the second equation is going to be, okay, here's one value. And then if I have, uh, here's another value right here. 
Okay, so this is approximately where these two intersect. That is our solution. And so you can see that's equal to uh, 0.5 and negative 0.25. So that's the exact solution, but there's the graphical interpretation of that. Sometimes we have, as well, we have not just equality constraints, but we also have inequality constraints um, for our linear set of equations. So this could be, for example, instead of a times z equals b, we could have a times z less than or equal to b. Uh, and you know, there's other, you can mix equality or inequality constraints as well. So you can't necessarily use this package, the linalg package for that, but you can with gecko. Um, let's just go ahead and say this is, you know, less than zero instead of equal to zero. And then let's just see what uh, solution it gives us. Uh, often you need, if you give up a degree of freedom with an inequality constraint, you need to have an objective. Okay, so I'll just try x squared. I'm going to minimize x squared. Okay, and it comes back to the original solution that we had before. You can also add additional variables to this. Okay, and additional equations. Okay, and then you just want to print out the solution to that. Okay, and so that you can have additional equations and variables, uh, and it can be they can be sparse. Uh, for example, where you don't necessarily have a y in this equation, you don't have a z in these other two equations up here. You can also add equations um, as lists. Okay, just use equations instead of equation. And then I'm just going to add this one uh, with the other one. Uh, so if you want to add multiple at a single time, you just uh, separate them with commas and create a new list. And then you should get the same solution as before. Okay, so that's a tutorial with Gecko on solving sets of linear equations. The next one that we're going to do is set up and solve nonlinear equations as well. So very related to this one, but we're just going to have some nonlinearities that uh, are going to make the solution just a little bit more challenging, but not impossible.